So I know we've all seen text in the shape of an image, and I thought I would see about making it in Create Studio, and it really wasn't that hard. So right here, you can see it's a tree, and I just had copied a poem, so it's about spring. And then I have one that I changed the font into a more script for a Mother's Day, and then I just used a bird. This, I think, actually was my first one. Then I did the tree. Then I actually also did a character. Two of them. I think you'll, know, you'll recognize Alyssa and Bella as a princess. So I'll show you how I did this if you're interested. Um, what I did learn is this I don't think is too bad, but I think it's easier if you use an image that doesn't have a lot of space, empty space, that then will be showing a background. What I did do on this at one point was, let me just duplicate this, and then get rid of this script. What I did try as well is I did a border Let's just make that white and then I got rid of the color so you can also have an outline to it. I wasn't sure that I really liked that. Probably want to have it lighter, but if you wanted to have some sort of an outline, you can do it. You just can't do it with the shape that you masked, but I'll show you that here. So this is the image that we had and all I did I'm going to unmask it. All I did is I went to the SVG appy we have. I put in tree and then this is the one I used. So I can import that, but I already have it in there, but I just added it again. It comes in blue but I actually did change that to green, as you can see, so it fit the um, tree theme better. So what did I do for this? Here we have some text, but you don't see it right now because it's already been masked. Let me mask this again. Let me show you how I did this. I'm gonna go in, I'm going to get the image I would got, the SVG. You also could use any of these shapes here, or you can go to the studio and choose a shape that you want from here. Or you could probably import your own if you have SVGs, but I know we haven't been able to do that as easily as we were in the original um, Create Studio. Then what I did is I went and I got some text I'm going to set this as word wrap, which you can select right here. And I don't know if you saw this turn on, watch right over here. You can turn it on with this button over here or right here. I want that on. I'm also going to choose the left justify and that's so that I can resize it better. And I just have a poem, so I'm just gonna paste it in. Clearly the text is too big, so I can scale that down. Now, because I wrapped and justified, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this and I'm dragging it to the right. So I can make this wider, the text box, so it would fill the image. Now clearly I don't have enough text here, but it's also pretty small. Before I show you um, hmm. oh, right here. It was right in front of my face. When you click on the text box, you can make your lines closer together or further apart whatever you choose that you want to do for your image. Um, but clearly I need some more words in here. So I'm going to go to my scale and just make my text a little bit bigger. 
and I'm going to grab my right bar right there. Just bring it to where the tree is, but I don't like how it's not filling in there. So I'm going to make sure that it's kind of all covered. I think I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And now let's see how that fills in. I took a long time before I even did this. Here they could be smaller, trying to figure out the sizing, so you may need to feel your way that way. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both my shape of the tree and my text, right click and mask the shape with the text. And there it is. And now I can just change the color. I like the green because that seemed more tree-like than blue, but you can choose whatever you want. So that's super simple, right? And if I want to have, I'm just going to duplicate this, click on the bottom one and unmask it and just click and delete my text. And then let's say I make it white and then I put a border on it. A border of two and I am going to get rid of the color. So I can have that as well if I want. That's what I had shown at the start. So you can do that with any of these images here or any that you want to find in the SVG appy. There's also some in Vectezi if you are a All Access Pass member. I didn't try any of these, so I'm not sure if they would be maskable, maskable or not. But how about I show you how I did the characters? So I'm gonna go over and go to my studio, my characters, and I'm going to find Alyssa. I'm going to drag and drop her. I'm going to make her a little bit bigger. There she is. I'm going, I was just copying and pasting the text box I already did, but let's do that again so we can practice. I get my text box. I have my word wrap. I'm going to do it from the left. I'm just going to command V the text I had. I'm going to make my text smaller and just keep resizing to whatever it is that I might want. I clearly need the text to be smaller, but I'm going to leave it like that right now. You can play around with the text. I'm going to move this below Alyssa for a moment. So I can bring her up a little bit because the first one I did, I had her jump in and wave. So I need to have these against the edge. I have to have her against the edge. So when she jumps in, she's not coming out of nowhere. Because I have her jumping in and I have her doing different actions, I need to make sure that there's enough text on the right and the left and the top and the bottom, or she'd lose the text. The text wouldn't be there when she did certain actions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Alyssa, go up to Effects and Components, Color Fill, I'm going to drop that on Alyssa and I think I just made her white. I can't remember. We'll practice and we'll see. Now what I did is I selected Alyssa and the text, right click and mask her with the text. And there she is. And of course, I would probably want the text to be a little smaller because as she moves, you really don't see anything with her hand because her hand is too small to, her hand is too small to hold many letters. 
but you can mask her like that. Now, if I had, let's put, oh, instead of changing the color of the background, I'm just gonna put a white rectangle under here. I am going to change Alyssa to maybe red. So now it's a red text. You can make it whatever color you want. I don't really like the red, but we wouldn't be able to see it against the white. Now I can select on Alyssa. I can put a shadow. Although, I don't know if I like that, but you never know till you try. But there's a few ways that you can create text in images. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can do it with some of our characters. I think playing around with this when I was trying to figure these out, some of the actions, it doesn't look so good, but I think that if I played around with the, the text size and type, I might find something I like. So if this is, sound, looks fun to you, give it a shot and see what you can do. Again, all of these shapes here, all of your shapes in the app and in media. The SVG appy is there for us. Does cut, no, I think, and then I think um, Bektizi is the only other one, but you do need all access pass for Bektizi. Have fun creating.